We do start, though, in Washington with what's going on there, because first there's a procedural vote and debate. Then the actual vote on impeachment in the House is going to be happening. And all of this after Vice President Pence said he would not invoke the 25th Amendment. Our Jessica Smith is on top of all of the latest developments. Jess? Yeah, Julie, exactly one week after that deadly riot at the Capitol and exactly one week before Inauguration Day, President Trump is poised to become the first president to ever be twice. And unlike his first impeachment, this one is expected to have some Republican support. The House is meeting now. They'll debate and then... Later today, they will vote on one article of impeachment, incitement of insurrection. Last night, the House did pass a resolution calling on Vice President Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove President Trump from office. But Pence said it's of a global pandemic, economic hardship for millions of Americans, and the tragic events of January 6th. Now is the time for us to come together. Now is the time to heal. So the House is forging ahead with impeachment, saying that the president must be held accountable so nothing like this happens again. Here's Speaker Pelosi. Removal of the president is an unprecedented action, but it is required because he is an unprecedented, it is an unprecedented moment in history because the danger that he poses. Several Republicans Republicans say they are going to support impeachment, including Congresswoman Liz Cheney. She is the number three Republican in the House. She issued a really scathing statement saying that the attack would not have happened without President Trump. She also said there has never been a greater betrayal by a president. Now, Majority Leader, Leader Hoyer did say last night that the, that the House would quickly send the article of impeachment to the Senate. There had been some chatter about delaying that so Biden could get some of his nominees confirmed and get going. But Hoyer last night shut down that idea. And we should note President Trump has said that this impeachment is ridiculous. And he said that he doesn't claim any responsibility from the violence that we saw on the Capitol. Of course, we can't get his reaction in real time anymore, um, but we'll be watching for any reaction from the White House. Well, I guess in theory, we could get his reaction in real time if he walked out of the White House and talked to reporters. He just can't type it. True. It's not on Twitter. <laughs> Directly to us, Jess. Thank you.